overall, effort was high. Uh, first period seemed to outchance them, but as the game wore on, <coughs> they cranked up the offensive pressure. What were they able to do tonight? Uh, with that as the game wore on? Well, I, uh, what I felt was we lost our poise once we had the lead. Um, we look like a team that doesn't have the lead much, and, uh, and, and unfortunately we played like it. And, and I think they're a team led by 50 or people that uh, are going to push really hard, and that's what they did. That, that's what I think happened, you know. Um, we have a, a power play at 2 nothing and... Not only does it not go three nothing, but we we give up a shorty, and that's just again. I think that's um, uh, them being on their toes, them being hungry, them finding a way, and us not having the poise and focus that I'd I'd like to see us have. Two things that they specialize in are power plays and and faceoffs, and you won more faceoffs, and yeah. and you uh, went five for five on the PK. How are you yeah. able to to do that so well tonight? Well, I, you know. I, I, we, we talk about it, you know, we, uh, it was well documented last night it was probably our worst night in the faceoff circle in the year f for the year. Um, uh, and our, although yes, we were five for five on the penalty kill. I thought there was some untimely penalties. I mean, 10 minutes is too many. Um, you know, we took another undisciplined penalty at the end of the second period there. Um, you know, it's, 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 um, it's difficult because it's not, it's some, it seems like it's something different each night, um, but I, I, I did like the way we responded. We, we didn't have a poor night last night in the PK. We had a poor night in the face-off circle. I liked the way we responded there. And, and, and overall, I like the way we've been killing penalties with the exception of the Saturday night against North Dakota, which was, which was not good. Uh, we've been killing penalties pretty good, and that's a, Zach Sizek has been working hard with the, with the killers and on the kill itself, and um, I think we're seeing some results. You uh, seem early on... You lost a, a defenseman. Dempsey went out early, and um, how were you able to, to sort of recover from that, or what did that change within uh, your tactics on the night? Well, we had we had seven defensemen dressed, and you lose one. Now you're down to six. It's probably easier to manage six on the bench. Um, you give the credit to the boys. I mean, I, I, we worked hard. You know, I, I uh, they put a bunch of pressure on you. I think their their strength is their depth, not only up front but on the back end. They're always in the play. They're always making you defend. And I thought our guys, for the most part, did a pretty good job. I mean. You know, once you get to three on three, it's 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 a crapshoot. Unfortunately, uh, we were on the wrong side of it. But uh, I, I thought for the most part we defended hard, and um, that doesn't surprise me. Our execution um, is always going to be something we need to do better. Uh, but the effort was there. There's no doubt about that. And and uh, um, I'm I'm happy about the effort because I think the effort has been there more times than not a good portion of this second half with the exception of less than a handful of games. I mean, I can think of three games that come to mind that were horrible, uh, but the effort has been there. And tonight I thought that's what happened. You know, you dress seven and you dress seven for a reason in case something ha like that happens. Unfortunately it did. Uh, Zane got banged up there, but uh, I thought the guy stepped up nicely. And Zane came off a, a pretty good game last night and um, looking for big things from him. Do you know, expect him to be back uh, for next week? It doesn't, no, it doesn't look, it doesn't look, Great. It looks more long term. It's an upper body injury. Um, and not, not only last night. Zane's been good. Zane's had a good freshman year. He's a very focused, very professional like kid in terms of the way he handles himself and um, the preparation and eating right and sleeping and all those kind of things. And um, it's too bad because I think uh, you know we've stayed fairly healthy back there. And last night we lose Feenstra in the first period, and tonight we lose Dempsey in, in the first period. So it's. Uh, hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. We we we, we don't want that um, because I think they've played well. Yeah, Murray uh, step up seemed like uh, had, was able to get an assist uh, on the night. Had a couple of, of good looks, a couple of good shots. Um, what did he do stepping in, uh, coming in as the seventh defense? Yeah, we, more he's action. right there. I mean, we you know we we believe that there's. There's a bunch of guys in that conversation back there. He's been right there. You have to make hard decisions. You can, you know, you dress seven. That's that's the choice you make. Well, eight, nine, and ten aren't happy. Uh, Alex is one of those guys that has been pushing the envelope a lot more this year than he did last year, and he's played a lot more because of that. Um, obviously, I'm sure he wants to play more than that, but um, I, I thought he did a nice job tonight. The intention was for him to play, um, even as number seven. But I think he got way more than he expected, and he and he handled it nicely. He did a good job. Ludwig, um, he uh, obviously out last night, not feeling well, feeling good to go tonight. Yeah. And uh, 
big time performance from yeah. him. Uh, what what did he bring to the game tonight? He brought what Ludwig brings. He brought confidence. He brought um, giving us a chance to win. That's what he did. Just like Logan did last night. Log- or, uh, Ludes did that tonight. And unfortunately, we didn't get it done in front of him. After last night, you guys wanted to come out and kind of make your presence felt from the beginning. It really felt like you were able to do that and had a lot of opportunities to take control early. What did you kind of see the way that you guys responded? Yeah, I think uh, our start yesterday wasn't what we were looking for. Um, that was kind of an emphasis from the coaching staff today to get off to a better start. Um, and I think we did that. And over the course of the 60, I think it translated and, um, you know, almost. So, What did you see on your goal and kind of walk us through that play? Yeah, I remember I uh, went D to D. Um, I think Murray took a good shot. Um, didn't really expect the puck to kind of bounce out to me. It did. And just try to throw it on net. We knew, uh, you know, we wanted pucks on net today. And, um, you know, it, it went in. So it was a good feeling. You're in a point in the conference standings, a big night from Pearson and goal. What did you see from, kind of from the way he played? Yeah, he's, he's a competitor. Um, you know, we know that. And, and uh, honestly, like we, we expect that performance out of him. He's, uh, you know, he's a great guy, um, great teammate, and uh, he works very hard. So, um, you know, there's no no wonder why he played the way he did. And, um, you know, we're hoping that he can bring that the rest of the way for us. How do you take the positives from this, even not getting the result that you want going into next weekend to Duluth? Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, parlaying this with the St. Cloud weekend, I think it was, you know, overall good, good four games. So, um, you know, it seems like we're starting to find our groove a little bit um, throughout the course of 60, which has been tough for us. Uh, this year, but um, I think it's been it's been going well the past couple of weeks. Practices have been good, so we're hoping to take the positives, leave the negatives, and, and learn from them, and um, hopefully have a good rest of the year.